When it comes to stopping high-speed car chases, the police have a lot of tools to aid them, but perhaps the safest and most effective is the spike trap. It does, however, require some technique and coordination, and therefore sometimes doesn't quite go as well as it should. Brilliant news! His timing was perfect, spiked the guy and got the trap out of the way. Deputy's got spike strips out. High speed chase, baby, here we go. Watch this. Damn, he ain't getting out of that one. Guys, I didn't believe they had any weapons. This might be a Tennessee tag, I believe. They're passing illegal head on into traffic, no traffic at the moment. Come up on y'all. He's got the spike trap, but it's going to be hard to cover both lanes. He dodged it. Good spot. And we can see one George five, and we can see one George five, blue another red line, hurt park horses. Here we go. Come on, 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 They're doing a hundred miles per hour now. Looks like he's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Doing a PIT maneuver at 130 miles per hour takes nerves of steel. Go slow, man. Go slow. Go slow. Stop.
When setting a spike trap, in addition to quick reflexes, you need good intel. Oh. Ooh, he threw that badly. Has he got time to throw it again? Ooh, just caught his rear tyre. I got one! Nine thirty-three just deployed. One tire. Shot. Have you ever seen a spike trap in action? Let us know in the comments!